welcome to another Monday's video. As you know, we have been on holiday. Uh, oh, it was so good. I think we just keep going, keep going, keep going, work and everything we've got on and it's just nice to, um, to take a break and spend time with the boys. You know that I struggle with the juggle and, uh, and that, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I make no secret of that. So to actually have a week where we were really relaxed, it was wonderful. And you know what? I felt really invigorated for it. I felt like I wanted to come back and get on with my work. And I, I felt really creative as a result, which is obviously what I, what I wanted. It's a great thing to have out of it. I felt like a superhero, let's face facts. I really, really did. However, <laughs> We got back on Tuesday, Tuesday night, once we got back from the airport and everything, and it's now Friday. Tuesday night, we literally put the boys in, into bed, we transferred them from the car, and then we got to our desks, we were doing our emails, and then on Wednesday I had a big writing day, Thursday I was doing some things in London, and then I had to go somewhere else in the evening, and then today I've been doing a podcast with Emma Gannon that you're going to be able to listen to very, very soon. So it's been very, very hectic. Uh, so that means that this is still here. My washing. Now this is not like me at all. I've just got to point that out that that is, that is not like me. Usually, get through the door, put that straight in, get those loads on. But I, it's something, I, it's just been really manic. And life has not lent me the time to do it. So there we go. Not feeling quite so heroic right now. In fact, feeling quite shoddy. Shoddy mild skills right there. The superhero magic is wearing off. <laughs> and I feel rubbish every time I walk past it. However, I got back to find these from Persil. They are their new ultimate power gems. And these little bottles, they might look small, but they've taken 10 years in the making, 10 whole years. And that's because they've been growing superpowers. They're said to have extraordinary power when it comes to removing stains, keeping clothes fresh and, and taking care of them. Um, so I think they're going to really help me get through this task <laughs> of getting that load of washing done. Because it's not even washing for me anymore, it's washing for Tom and the boys. There's a lot of us. Plus now I'm so behind that I have, <laughs> Probably, yeah, I've got a few loads of washing just to do from the time we got back and from what was left before we went away. Oh, so much washing. And these power jobs, I've never seen them before, never heard of them before because they are new. So I thought I'd open them before uh, this video, before I uh, started using them and uh, see what they were like. I wasn't expecting this, so I thought I'd show you. Look, how uh, pretty. <laughs> uh, but they are 100% active ingredients that dissolve in your wash and, uh, and said to be amazing. So I will be using those today. Persil, to coincide with this, have taken the whole Extraordinary Powers thing and turned it into a campaign, which celebrates the everyday extraordinary moments that life brings us. So while my holiday is still fresh in my mind, I thought I would take a moment <laughs> to, you know, procrastinate over the washing a little bit more and, and think about moments on holiday where either I or other people have used their extraordinary powers and I've witnessed it. Uh, so I thought I'd share them with you. First off, I have to kick off with this. We played a lot of Uno when we were away. I have got some quite good skills at Uno. At first I was like, it's just about luck. No, there's skill involved, there is skill. And one night in particular, I had to pick up 12 cards. You know what happened at the end of that game? I won. Yeah, I won. Now, if that's not extraordinary power, I don't know what is. The next one is jogging. Now, I am not the fittest person. Um, I am training at the moment for my trek. So I am training, but running is not something that I generally do. Uh, when I was younger, I used to just get this pain across here. and it just, It's just never felt like a very comfortable thing to do. However, I have been training and, uh, and uh, on the holiday, uh, us girls, and my brother came one day actually, uh, we would go up for walks in the mountains, and so we'd power walk there, and then we'd do a bit of jogging. I would say we literally split it, walking and jogging the whole way, so it was half and half. That was such an achievement for me, to be actually jogging, and feeling good doing it as well, not just, you know, <laughs> I, did, I, yeah, I just, I didn't feel terrible. I mean, I have hurt my knees and my foot, but don't worry, I am seeing a physio about that this week. But yeah, I just, that is extraordinary for me uh, to be able to, to do that. The next up is watching Buzz try to swim. So he has a life vest that he sort of swims in and he loves it, loves going in the pool and jumping in and out and he feels really safe in it. But this holiday, we wanted to encourage him to to leave the vest. The start of the holiday was just him regaining his confidence in the water and then towards the end we started encouraging him to take the vest off and he did, he did. Um, I mean he's so close, so close to being able to swim um, so that is just 
amazing, extraordinary. The next one's a lovely one, <laughs> and that is watching the love between Buzz and Buddy and their cousin, Summer Rae. It is so gorgeous. Literally in the mornings, the first thing they would do is find each other, give big kisses and cuddles. Summer Rae is now one, Buddy's one and a half, Buzz is just over three, and, and the love that they all share is just, oh, it's just so heartwarming, and there's got to be something heroic in love. The next one that we had to show our powers for was uh, having one son um, projectile vomit in a really posh restaurant on the last night. <laughs> it's one of those things where he wasn't really being himself, um, but you know we were encouraging him to eat, and he was like, I'm not really that bothered. And uh, yeah, we just we didn't see it coming. To be honest, he was super happy afterwards, so it kind of made up for it. I have rinsed the clothes that he was wearing, but there was a definite air, a definite, more than a whiff, it was more than a whiff of, of sticky clothes, and that they are in that case, oh my gosh, they're in one of those. Another extraordinary power is the fact that I managed to get nine members of my family, so my brother, my sister, their other halves, and some Ray, my sister's child, and us, we managed to all get together at the same time and have a holiday. I seriously think it takes extraordinary powers to, to be able to switch off um, because we are all so, you know, we're like that all the time, working, 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 doing what we have to do. And what is the point of any of that if you're not going to take time out to spend quality time with the people that you love? And I guess my last extraordinary power is yet to come, and that is getting this lot done. Uh, so as soon as I switch off, I will be doing that. Ha ha! And actually, I've got to say, <laughs> it smells amazing. I love freshly washed clothes. So I want to know from you, what are your everyday extraordinary powers, big or small, let me know in the comments below. So I'm off to start getting this lot done, I'm literally going to empty them out into piles right now and, uh, and, and then get on with work. The kids are asleep, this is my night. I might get some chocolate out too, just to... Everyday powers, getting chocolate out and taking time to chill. Small things people, small things. I shall speak to you very, very soon. Bye! The last load of washing has finally been done. Yay! I feel like a new woman. <laughs> uh, it all smells absolutely amazing. And any stains that were there have disappeared. So thank you, Purcell. Thank you for saving my washing. Thank you for saving my holiday blues. <laughs> See you later, guys.